Hello, hello everyone. So I have a pretty uh, cool video today. It addresses one of the challenges some people have been facing in the community, particularly those trying to read in Google Sheets. Now, somebody in the NIME community reached out to me. His name is Jake, really cool guy. And he had this challenge. And I first tried to address this by simply using the list files and folders node to try to get metadata information. But with Google Sheets, actually, let me show you it. What you get is, is it's a very limit. It's very limited, and you really don't get what you need to to pretty much do anything really. So, uh, let me show you folders. Okay, so I authenticate and I put the sport. So here we're gonna select the directory. Everything you could see it doesn't give the information we need to read Google Sheets in a loop. So here we only get the path and we get, you know, this directory information. From the path, we could extract the file name. But the thing is, even with this, without the spreadsheet ID, we're not able to really retrieve anything. And since I'm on vacation, I do have some time. So I figured, okay, what if we just simply have a sheet on the Google drive side which has all the metadata information we need and that's pretty much what i built here and i did use my lovely supportive trusted assistant the bing chat to create this code now i did have to do some coding myself because it didn't get some things right like all the variables to return i had to code that myself um but this works so basically all you do is you need to go to your so make a make a make a, a spreadsheet to host this code go to extensions go to app script and paste this code in there of course read it carefully you know always be concerned about security paste this code in here you shouldn't need to change anything the code is going to look for a value in a2 which is going to be a folder id i will show you how to get that in a second now when you paste this here run it and give it authentic give it the um authorization it needs to run this code so you're going to get a pop-up and it's going to warn you that you know this app is not verified now again this should be on your google drive so it's going to be something from you so you should be able to go ahead and approve it because you are the one who's putting this in there um you need to click on the advanced settings to be able to do that there is a video on youtube on this i'm gonna share that as well so you can like see how this lady uh goes through that to authenticate code so basically in the spreadsheet i have assigned it to an image so just insert an image you can insert that from drawing images google images and just you know insert it there once you once you have that let me just walk you through it actually so uh, let, let's 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 look at you need to copy the function name from here copy it and then back to the image See these three dots, click on that, click on assign script, paste the name of the script, click on OK. And when you click on this, that script should run. There we go. OK. So there's information here, but actually let's clear this information. Because to start, we want to, you know, start from pasting in the folder ID. So where do you want to retrieve the metadata from? Let's say I want to retrieve the met metadata for all my files and sub all my files and also files and some folders within this folder project i go to the folder project look at the url this alphanumeric code this is your your folder id so copy that from the url and then paste that in your spreadsheet so i put it here and then i click on this icon to run the script And we have metadata. So we have the folder name, we have the spreadsheet name, we have a spreadsheet ID, the sheet name, and the spreadsheet URL. So for now, we need a couple of these things. So now we'll go back to now. Note the name of this spreadsheet is called List Spreadsheet Info. So we need to find the spreadsheet over in Nine. So I'm going to go to Nine. Okay, so that's what I did here pretty much. Google Sheets Reader, I have selected this sheet, and you just, you know, select. A, you just click on select select the spreadsheet you want to have so select that and then i'm doing a row filter to get rid of anything that is not in my nine multiple test folder and i only want sheet one but you can get multiple sheets as well if you want to but i only want sheet one now i'm going to replace the input node here for the roof uh, for the um table rotor variable loop start i'm going to select all the columns i'm not going to use all of them but i'm just going to select all of them 
let me get a fresh note. I want to show you something because th this uh, this took me a, a bunch of minutes to 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 get past. So let me show you this error that you might get if you try to use this method. Okay, so variables here. Okay, so configure. We're going to select all our variables again, which are needed to identify our sheets. Spreadsheet ID. Spreadsheet name. Sheet name, sheet name, sheet name. Okay, I click on okay. There's an error. Spreadsheet ID must not be empty. Okay, but it's not empty. I've selected it. Now, the walkaround in this case, you just have to select any spreadsheet as a dummy. Literally anyone. And then this is going to work. But in reality, what is being used to retrieve information and access the relevant spreadsheet is what you have in the parameters. But you just need to select a random sheet to get past that error. Okay, so that's, that's a tip for you to make this work. Now I run this. Oh, actually, I need to reconfigure this. Uh, I just want to say it doesn't have row headers. Otherwise, it's going to look off. Okay, so run this again. now we can see that we have product and sales information we can see that our data is changing so we have uh, 1348 here and then down here we have 4456 so it is changing over here we have a big number so now i know that it's actually reading in different files actually one good thing for you to do initially before you run this you want to use the counter counter generator node to give uh, ids to your to your files before you retrieve them uh, I'm struggling to uh, okay uh, yes because then you can do a join to to know which data goes to which sheet okay so we're just gonna run this it's gonna start at zero by default and now we can now when we read them again we can do a join so I'm just gonna run this and I'm gonna get a joiner Join a node. And your table rotor variable, it does go in order. So what is zero here? It's going to be zero here. So we just join it. We're going to join the counter to the iteration, so uh, iteration to, to counter. And then we want to Let's just take everything besides the counter. So we have all our metadata for all our data points, if you want it all of them. So now I know that this number four four let's 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 do down here. This number five six seven eight eight is telling me it's coming from product E for the March one in my nine multiple false test. And let's verify that. So product E it says, right? So projects nine multiple test March project. Product E, and that's correct. Okay. And uh, long story short, <laughs> this has been a fun random thing for me. I guess people that have this issue, if you want to read multiple sheets in Nine, this is how you do it. So you need to do, do some work on the Google Sheets side and some work on the Nine side, but it's doable. Once you have that script set up, it's set up. You're good to go. So so yeah, it's it's not uh, once it's set up. I think this is a pretty easy thing to use. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.